a lot of these schools in minority neighborhoods and poor neighborhoods are being told, turned into holding tanks. They're being turned into holding tanks. The new corporate-inspired education reform has no room for teaching critical thinking, teaching literature. We have uh, limited access to um, uh, useful education. Um, we get what um, the South African students in Soweto rose up against, uh, Bantu education, which only at best, if we're not pushed out of the schools, um, prepare us to work in menial jobs uh, in the country. The whole purpose of the school system was to educate factory workers to be factory workers. And this is the first crime of setting someone up to fail because we all know factory workers are not supposed to think, they're not supposed to have critical thinking skills, they're not supposed to be able to analyze. The link between the educational system, so-called educational system, and the um, prison system, the criminal punishment system, as we call it, pipeline, the schoolhouse to the jailhouse pipeline, um, is such that the number of prison beds is calculated on the basis of the number of second graders who cannot read on grade level at the end of the second grade, primarily black and Latino uh, males, when at that time it would only cost $3,500 to teach that child to read. Um, 16 years from that time, um, it would cost them, well, actually it's 11 years when they're 18, it would cost, um, it's $35,000 a year to house them in a prison. But then it's somebody's job. It's, um, you know, it's the prosecutor, it's the lawyer, it's the bondsman, it's the judge, it's the jailer, it's the construction. So the whole prison industry uh, becomes a mechanism. And um, one of, once they're incarcerated, then, you know, they're making uh, backpacks for Jan Sport or, um, you know, bras for Victoria's Secret. And of course, once they are released, they can't even get those jobs if they went to the manufacturers of John's Jansport or they went to. Um, so at 17 cents um, a day, uh, 